Welcome BoxFit. My name is Samir and today I'm going to take you through a full body workout using only 20 exercises, 20 minutes with no equipment at all. So let's begin. So let's start with the first exercise. We're going to work on elbows inside. So we're going to make sure our body is loose, knees are slightly bent and push the elbows inside. When you do elbows, the hands, arms should be completely loose. You're twisting on the same leg, okay? This is allowing your whole body to loosen up as well. Why should elbows always be loose? Because it already has a hard point of contact. Yes. You want to work the torso as you keep going. Keep going, very nice. And let's take a break. While we take this break, I'm going to explain the next exercise, which is going to be knee raises. I'm going to keep one foot forward, one foot back. I'm going to raise the knee three times on one leg. Always bring it back, change, and then raise it three times on the other leg. If I want to make it easy, I just step. And let's go. Three, two, one. Keep raising the knee as high as possible because that will allow your hip to get looser. Three times each side, guys. Exhale each time you kick up. Very nice. Let's breathe. In the meantime, I'm going to explain what the next exercise is. It's going to also going to be in standing position. We are going to do a simple jumping jack. Forward and side. Okay? Take a breather. Breathe. Simple. You're still just getting warmed up into it. And we'll keep going. In three, two, one, and go. This is not supposed to be done very fast. Just take it easy and let your body get the circulation going. It's a rhythm exercise, okay? Rhythm means you're not trying to go too fast, not too slow, just going at your own pace. You want to make it even easier, you can go step out, step up, step out, step out. Anything that goes, okay? It's not essential that you keep jumping. Very nice. Next exercise that we're going to do is squats. When you do squats, start with the feet together, turn them out, shoulder width apart, and then thrust back as if you're about to sit on a chair. Keep your hands forward so that it keeps the chest and the back straight, and always point your knees apart. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. When you go down, inhale. When you come up, exhale. When you go down, inhale, exhale. Always keep the knees apart when you're going down or coming up. The pressure should be on the full foot. Should never go on the whole toe, okay? Should never go on the toes, on the entire foot. Doesn't matter if your knees are crossing the knee, crossing your toes, just let the pressure flow and breathe very nice already getting warmed up we're going to go into inchworms which is the next exercise we're going to bend slightly go down one two three and three two one okay getting ready in five four three two one and let's go one two three three go down put the pressure very light pressure on the shoulders and also on the core. The core has to stabilize when you go down and the legs bring you up. So this is like a lighter way of doing a squat and a plank. Very nice. Keep going. Remember, the faster you go, the more your heart rate will go up. And breathe. 
breathe. The next exercise, we'll go onto the floor on our backs and we'll go into another smooth one. From our back, we're going to go into something which is very common all across the world, which are sit-ups, okay? Going in three, two, one, and go. Come up. If you want to make it even more interesting, you come one, two, three, with three elbows. You already did elbows in the beginning, right? So keep going. This adds more rhythm to the body and it also allows you to work on the transverse abdominus muscle, which is the cross section in the torso. So the torso, the abs are not just linear muscles. They have cross section plus linear, yeah? Three, two, one, very nice. Let's go on to the next one, which we are going to work on an elbow plank, okay? Once again, we are going to focus on working our core. And breathe, which is what an elbow plank looks like. I'm on my elbows, I can tap my foot out or I can just hold it. And three, two, one, and hold. Make sure your palms, your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Your back is straight, your hips are firm, your back should never be down like this. Always keep it up like this, yes? You want to make it more interesting, you can tap one foot out, then the other foot out. Tap one foot out, tap the other foot out, and keep going. Or you can just hold it here and deep breathing everyone. Never hold your breath when you're doing any of these exercises. Always rhythmic, simple breathing. The better you breathe, the more it works the muscle. And let's take a breather. Going on to the next exercise, we're gonna go on to, once back, once again, on our back. We're gonna go sit-ups with a knee. So this is what I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be in sit-up position. I'm gonna tap my knee, okay? Sit-up position, tap the alternate knee. And three, two, one, let's go. I take my foot that I'm going to tap on, I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna try not to put my head on the floor. But if you want, you can. Always breathe out when you sit up. You should be able to feel that pressure in the abs now. Yes, keep going. The more you twist, the more you work the transverse abdominus as well as the linear abs. Keep going. And breathe, take a break, take a break. You go for the next exercise. Now we're gonna come back into standing. We're gonna do a linear shuffle. What does a linear shuffle look like? I'm just gonna switch over like this. Yeah, just, it's a normal, Movement like I'm on a ski, I'm just walking, but at a faster pace. And three, two, one, and let's go. I can keep my hands down. I can keep my hands up. I find it easier to keep my hands up, but loose. Easier. And keep going. Breathe, guys. Very important to always keep breathing. The more you breathe, the more it allows the blood to circulate and reach every muscle. Breathe, breathe, breathe. going keep going last five seconds five four three two one and take a breather take a breather we are going to come back into a squat position this time we will go wider so last time we were shoulder width apart now i'll go a little wider like a sumo wrestler keep it wide toes pointed out and we go squat from here. Once again, I can make sure that my knees are not going anywhere. I'm putting all my pressure on my full foot. When I go down, I inhale. When I come up, I exhale. I keep my back straight and my chest pointed forward. This squat is actually easier to do than the other one because you don't have to make too many adjustments. The position will do it for you. Yes. And 
one and take a breather while we go into the next exercise we are going to go into elbow plank and we are going to work on a T position switch everyone elbow plank with a T position switch so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to be in elbow plank and I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go up I'm going to aim to hold it for two to three seconds each time okay so let's go in three two one and go If you want to make this easier, you keep a wide base, okay? You want to make it harder, you keep one foot on top of the other. The whole, longer you hold, the more this works. Always make sure that when you're moving this onto the side, never let it hang down. Always keep it up. Breathe out. Breathe. Always there. Breathe. And switch over. Very nice. Breathe. And we are going to go on to our back. Okay. Once again in sit-up position, we are going to be doing Russian twist. I'm going to keep my feet on the floor and twist. Okay. Once again, working the transverse abdominus. Getting ready in three, two, one, and go. Touch the floor each time. And breathe. I'm making sure I'm not sitting up so vertically. I'm always sitting at an angle. That is putting the pressure on my abdomen. This is what I'm using to sit up over here. I don't want to go too far back because that will put too much pressure on my back also. I want to sit up. If I want to make it harder, I can raise my legs up and then do it. Let's keep it easy. And touch. And touch. Twist the whole body, guys. Very nice. Breathe. We are going into a plank position. Okay, once again, my next exercise, I'm going to work my core again. I'm going to be an animal crawl. I'm going to go one, two, three, bend my knees and then come back. Three, two, one, and let's go. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg. And going forward and back. Okay, breathe easy. Go forward. Go back. Three steps forward. One, two, three. And three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. And three, two, one. Keep going, guys. Almost there. 15 more seconds. Two, one. One, two. You want to make it harder? You can go fast. Always make sure that your core is up. Take a breather. Next one. We are going to go into crossover shuffles. What are crossover shuffles? I'm standing. We did linear before. Okay, on our toes and going in three, two, one, and go. As you can see, I am already sweating quite a bit. You should be going too. I can feel it. It seems easy. All these exercises are very, very simple. But boy, can they put the pressure on the body. You don't need to do too many complex work, too much complex work to ever get the body to go, to get stronger. Do simple movements and keep going. Almost there, guys. Almost there. You want to make it easier? You go tap, tap tap but don't stop okay breathe 20 seconds 20 seconds next one we are going to go into a downward dog so I go into plank and my downward dog requires me to be on a slope my hips are high and I touch aim to touch alternate toes with alternate hands okay so let's go left to right right to left left to right right to left if I want to make it even easier, I can bend my knees and then do it. But ideally, I would want that my legs are straight and I'm going, okay? Breathe. Very important, guys, to breathe. If your toes come off, the if your heels come off the floor, not a problem, not a problem. But if you want to get that hamstring stretch going, 
the muscle here keep the heels on the floor and let's take a breather very well done we are going to go into reverse lunges everyone reverse lunges what are this i stand feet together take one foot back as if i'm stepping into a long step come back and then i change okay if i want i can touch my knee to the floor let's go inhale going down exhale coming up make sure all the pressure is on the forward full foot never on the toe on the full foot also make sure that your body is straight see my body is straight to make it straighter you can always keep your hands in front you don't want your body going downwards like this no that compromises the exercise you don't want to do that and keep breathing very nice one and take a breather we are going to go into a plank we're going to go on to our back hollow body with single leg extensions this is what it looks like my body is off the floor upper body is off the floor legs can be down i touch and i touch and let's go in 3 2 1 extend and extend this is an extension if i want to make it harder i can straight go straighten out then straighten out always keep my legs off the floor this works even harder okay breathe want to make it easier go one foot switch other foot want to make it even harder go both legs both legs okay that's the advance both legs never allow your back to arch always keep it pressed down switch switch very nice and breathe and breathe okay we are going to go squat with knee raises now you already done squat that was this and you already did knee raises we are going to combine both we're going to go down squat come up raise the knee go down squat raise the knee in 3 2 1 and let's go down inhale exhale keep the back straight everyone very important do not allow the back to go down like this and round keep the hands forward it also gives your knee a target with your hand all the pressure in the full foot should never be on the toe so you're thrusting back as if you're about to sit on a small stool yes that way the pressure goes through your glutes and your thighs and breathe breathe we're going to go into the next exercise standing up it's going to be a simple seal jack okay we are opening up a seal that's why it's called a seal jack okay and getting ready in 3 Two, one, and let's go. You want to make it even more interesting? You can open up this way, okay? Otherwise, keep the elbows bent in front and just open up. You want to make it even easier? You can stop, do seal, seal, and tap, and tap. Otherwise, jump. This is the normal. Keep breathing, everyone. Almost there. Breathe. Very simple exercise to always keep your heart rate up, but using good rhythm, steady state cardio. And breathe. We are going to go to the next exercise: inchworm into jump squat. We've already done inchworm. Boom, boom, boom. But now we want to jump with our heels outside the hands. Turn around. Okay. inch one jump with the heels outside the hands turn around let's go if i want to make it easier i step step go forward forward jump with the heels outside the hands and breathe make it easier and make it harder and very good keep going guys almost there let's go you can push this 
This is the final one. And finish this. Very nice. And breathe. A very well done, box fit. That was 20 exercises in 20 minutes. We covered the full range of standing, sitting, and going into plank. Always remember, keep it simple, keep it steady, and stay consistent. Breathe easy.